Hi, this is Anne Angelo Webb, the Animal Intuitive, and this is the Animal Intuitive Show, where we have weekly episodes about animal communication, natural pet care, and interviews with experts in the fields of animal care and advocacy. In today's episode, I'm going to show you a technique that's going to help you when you're experiencing stress about something that might be going on with your pets. Come on, all you doggies, won't you walk with me? I'm the puppet, puppet, puppet. So first off, I want to apologize because I haven't been on for a few weeks. A few things kind of converged at the same time. And what happened was it turned into the topic of today's video. And I think it's actually going to be very helpful for those of you watching in a variety of situations. If you do benefit from this, please do hit the subscribe button. It really does help when you do things like liking and sharing and subscribing to support the show. To give you a little bit of a background, uh, what happened was I actually, every couple of years, have to finish my continuing ed credits for my social work license, although my focus at this point in my life is not my social work career. That was sort of in the past. It comes in handy in what I do, but it's, it's not what I'm doing professionally. So, But I have to keep the license up, or I want to keep the license up, and sometimes the credits, I, they get pushed to the back burner, and so there I am getting them done. But at the same time, some things started to happen with my cat. Um, she was having some physical issues. And as many of you who are watching can understand, um, that became priority to focus. You know, to me, that that's kind of like, that's more important even than anything at that point. I've got to take care of that. Uh, you know, she's doing okay. But I did come up with this video because during that time, I realized, you know, I've got to do some things to help myself dealing with the the stress of the situation and one of those things is tapping so tapping is a way to access the various meridians of the body and tapping sends a calming signal to the amygdala which is the part of the brain where you have the fight flight or freeze response the first thing you want to do is the setup and the setup is where you identify uh, what the stressor is so for instance i might be saying during the tapping, you know, I'm worried about what's going on with my cat or I'm anxious about what's happening with my cat. And then you identify a positive statement. So many people when they tap will say something like, but I love and accept myself or but I give myself an opportunity to relax. I'm somebody who goes to God in these situations. You know, I try to seek his comfort and help. And so for me, I incorporate that into the tapping but you do whatever is going to work for you. And, you know, I think it's better to just kind of work intuitively as you're going through this. So I sometimes use different, different positive statements as I'm going through it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is called the karate chop. So you're using either side of the inside of the hand. You're going to tap either side to begin with. And so I would start with something like saying, although I'm very anxious about what's happening with my cat, I can love and accept myself. Although I'm anxious about what's happening with my cat, I can give myself an opportunity to relax. Although I'm very stressed about what's happening with my cat, I know that God is going to help me during this situation. And then you would want to go to the inner corner of the eyebrow where the hairline begins and tap there. Although I'm very anxious about what's happening with my cat, I give myself permission to relax. Then the other end of the eyebrow, the outer corner, and don't go to the temple, but it's where the bone is here. Although I am anxious about what's happening with my cat, waiting for the phone call from the vet, I'm giving myself this opportunity to relax. And then under the eyes, where you feel is like bone right here, the cheekbone. Although I'm anxious about what's happening with my cat, I'm waiting for these test results, I'm asking God to give me his peace and comfort at this time. And then under the nose, above the lip, although I am anxious about what's happening with my cat, I know that it's going to only help the situation for me to give myself time to relax and then below the lower lip and that little divot in the chin. Although I am anxious about what's happening with my cat, 
I'm giving myself a chance to relax. And then you have your collarbone, so but you're going to do both sides of the collarbone right underneath it. And there's like a little like divot there. Although I am anxious about what's happening with my cat, your dog, your pet, your horse, I'm going to take this opportunity to relax. And then you're going to go under the armpit three inches. For women, it's where the bra strap is. Although I'm anxious about what's going on with my pet, I give myself permission to relax. And then going to the top of the head. Although I'm anxious about these test results, I'm giving myself permission to relax. And there you have it. And you can repeat that on both sides. So the cool thing is you can actually use this technique stepping in as a surrogate for your pets. And if you'd like me to demonstrate that in a future episode, let me know down below. I hope that that was helpful. And if you would like to reach out to me to find out about what I do as an animal communicator or otherwise, it's Anne with an E at intuitivetouchanimalcare.com. That's my email. And then you can also just go to my website, intuitivetouchanimalcare.com and check that out. And God bless. Rub my belly. Rub my belly.